Welcome to the bench. This is what we're going to be tying today. It is a little dubbing loop egg yarn. This is like a clown color. All I'm doing is I'm mixing chartreuse egg yarn and this is a uh, steelhead orange. So you take, cut yourself off chunk and then you're, oh, sorry, chunk of each in about a half inch length. And you're gonna wanna separate those. Okay, we're gonna have those two set aside. We're gonna be using UTC 70 chartreuse. You could use fire orange, you could use black, you could use white, you could use whatever. This one I'm doing with chartreuse. Okay. Get ourselves a nice little thread base going here. <clears throat> we go back to the front, make our dubbing loop here. Okay, we're gonna wrap that back to the hook shank and back to the front. Okay, grab your dubbing loop tool or set aside your loop there. Let's get a quick whip finish on this guy. Just a quick three turn. Okay, now what we got everyone secure, we're going to want to make sure our two yarns are even. I'm going to cut off some of that excess there. All right, once you get your pieces, what you want to do is you're going to want to grab them just like I have it there, and you're going to just pinch and then kind of let off this one a little bit and then just kind of separate it and then readjust and then separate it. You don't want to pull them apart. You want them to stay together. You just want to, as evenly as you can, get these to separate and then just keep going. I work, work it back and forth until you get the desired length and thickness. Okay. Not sure what the heck that was. There we go. All right. We get our loop to open up here. All right, we're gonna just get our noodle in there. Oh. There we go. All right, get it in there. Now once you have it pinched, you can adjust it where you need it, want it. Okay, so just separate it out pretty good. Want it to be a little bit spacey. Okay, somewhere in there, and then we're gonna twist it. Not too crazy, right about there. All right, now, it's all kind of funky looking. Now we wanna brush it out, nice and gently. Don't use too much pressure, you'll end up breaking your loop. That always is a pain in the butt to have to restart. And this is going to help straighten out all your fibers even more now that it's all captured. Don't worry if you lose some out of it. You just what you really want to do is you want to work on getting that noodle along the what's holding the, the fibers. Try and get that as even looking as you can. It's not going to be perfect, but you can get it pretty good. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to give it like a few more twists just to tighten everything back up. Okay, now we're going to use the rotary on this vise. If you don't have a rotary, you can still do this. You just got to go around and around. I recommend actually doing something else with that. 
All right, so we're gonna pull these back every time we can. Go around, then pull it back. Go around, then pull it back. You really don't wanna trap fibers going forwards. You want them all facing backwards. If we can, Right about there, it looks good. Okay, now we're gonna bring our yarn here, the thread. Capture that once there, one around. I'm gonna come back around here. Capture that again. All right, there we go. I've got a little bit of a head. That is okay, because we're going to build that head up with the thread, kind of like a hot head fly. So from here, I just get my whip finish tool, and I just do a few turn whip finish to get it secured in there so we don't lose it. All right, now we can start to kind of use the whip finish tool to kind of build your head. Let's see here, it looks like we probably need at least one more. And this is kind of a sloppy fly. It's not it's not really a beauty pageant winner. But it works very well. And you can put a bead on it if you want. You can put weights on it if you want. You can do all kinds of different things. This is just an uh, unweighted version. Uh, I like this a lot in still water applications. So any lakes or ponds where there's stock trout. You just mess around with this fly, do different colors. You can do red, white, black. You can do green, olive. You can do, you know, as many color combinations as you can think of, really. And if you have a special color combo that works better in your waters, do it. Just, like, get those extra fibers cleaned up there, and let's get some head cement on here. Soak in. Clean up those. There's one right there. There we go. All right, beauty. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for more.